that smiles back goldfish. Tangled up in all that yard work? Break free with the revolutionary new flat hose, guaranteed to take the mess out of watering. Flat hose attaches easily to any faucet, guaranteed to never kink, never tangle, never tear. So watering your plants or washing the car has never been easier. Based on the same technology that's been used for years on fire hoses. As you can see, flat hose has been used in the fire service for many years for three primary reasons. Speed, space, and storage. The compact flat hose is made of a tough yet flexible material. With flat hose, simply turn on the water and watch it expand for a full unobstructed flow. Rubber hoses can weigh up to 15 pounds, but flat hose is so lightweight you can easily move it for any job anywhere. With flat hose, just turn off the water and it goes back to its flat shape. Now you can order the incredible flat hose on this special TV offer for only $19.99. Call now and as a special bonus, we'll include the flat hose storage reel. So stop struggling to rewind ordinary heavy wet hoses. Flat hose winds up easily without twisting for trouble free storage anywhere. But that's not all. You'll also receive this adjustable flow spray attachment. With four selectable watering patterns, you can choose a gentle shower, full action spray, flat spray, or switch to a sharp jet stream. Flat hose, convenient storage reel, and adjustable spray gun. A $50 value, just $19.99. Ask our operators how you can receive the Flat Hose Deluxe Sprayer with special chamber for adding soap or fertilizer. Flat hose comes with a free lifetime replacement guarantee against cracking or tearing. So which would you rather have, this or this? Order your flat hose now. To order your flat hose, have your credit card ready and call this toll-free number. Or send your check or money order for $19.99 plus shipping and handling to the address on your screen. You can also order online at tvinventions.com. So don't wait. Call now. Inspired cockpit. Chronograph style instrumentation. Introducing the Lexus IS 305 speed. Totally unexpected. Especially starting at under 30,000. For an incredible value, just show up at your Lexus dealer. For 20 years, your window on the world outside. From our humble beginnings through events of the century, watch how a passion for weather brought us from pioneer to prime time in the cable industry. Join us for a 20th anniversary special from the Weather Channel, Sunday, May 12th at 8 Eastern and Pacific. Now you can read how we beat the odds in the Weather Channel, the improbable rise of a media phenomenon. Ask for it at your local bookstore. you by this cable or satellite provider. You can also get reliable forecasts from the Weather Channel through this radio station. Closed captioning on the Weather Channel is brought to you by Dynagy. Dynagy delivers energy through its network of assets to areas that need it the most. They do that kind of stuff every day at Dynagy. Currently, the temperature is 65 degrees under cloudy skies. for your area.
your extended forecast. You're watching the Weather Channel. Live by it. You're watching the Weather Channel, Evening Edition. Another severe weather outbreak. Ohio, Indiana, Kentucky, Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, and even Oklahoma. Tornado watches are in effect, and these strong storms are taking the same path they did Saturday night. People who survived Sunday's devastating F5 tornado in Plata, Maryland, are beginning to rebuild their lives. And they're getting some help from the White House. Details just ahead. Hello and welcome to the Weather Channel Evening Edition West Coast. I'm Sandra Diaz. And I'm Dave Schwartz. We've got to be on our guard tonight because there are a lot of dangerous storms on the prowl just north of Indianapolis, just east of Columbus. The raw power of Mother Nature, strong winds whipped up the severe, by the severe storms, blasted southern Illinois today, powerful enough to knock railroad cars from their tracks. Fortunately, no one was hurt there, but there is a report of one death in Crawford County in southeastern Illinois. We're hit again. Boy, people are just punch drunk around here. But then again, this is severe weather season till 6 o'clock in the morning in Ohio, till 5 o'clock in the morning here in Indianapolis, till 4 o'clock in the morning in Marion, Ohio and Cape Girardeau, until 2 o'clock in the morning in northern Arkansas. So this is an all-night event. We've had two branches of the jet stream, northern branch, Brought thunderstorms tonight into the Chicagoland area, even though temperatures are only in the 40s. Meanwhile, here's our southern branch. And boy, have those thunderstorms been going gangbusters. You could actually see the track of two deadly thunderstorms. Look at them go. 500 miles nonstop tonight they've stopped, but that's only round one. Round two along the warm front has developed now in Ohio and Indiana. Here we are in Ohio, and here's that tornadic thunderstorm now, Fairfield County. Be careful here, boy, I'll tell you, Interstate 70. Looks like the tornado would be just south of Interstate 70 here in Fairfield County. Do we have an update, Sandra? Yes. Thank you. We've got the tornado warning now for Raleigh County, West Virginia. Just out of radar range, let me give you the information. Some locations that could be hit by a tornado here in West Virginia would be Beckley, Bradley, Cole City, and Crab Orchard. A severe a tornado warning in effect for Raleigh County, West Virginia, for Fairfield County, Ohio. Notice the thunderstorms north on 71 and in and around the Cincinnati metropolitan area. Nothing here severe yet, but very possible. North of the warm front, that's where we've got the most severe weather. Speaking of severe, this storm severe now on the Hamilton Marion County line. Just north of Indianapolis in the far northern suburbs, there could be some hail from that one and gusty winds. If you live northeast of Indianapolis, you're in line for this severe thunderstorm. We got some more rough weather south of Bloomington. So it's breaking out all over the place. Here we are in Indianapolis and that severe thunderstorm that rumbled through Hendricks County just moments ago. Low pressure strengthening. Moving toward the northeast, toward Erie, Pennsylvania here in the morning. The warm front will precede it, bringing warm air, thunderstorms tonight, Pittsburgh. And then the cold front slides southeastward into Oklahoma and Arkansas. Severe thunderstorm warning, Okmulgee County. And just south of Tulsa, we've had reports of some hail here too. So, from West Virginia to Oklahoma, a severe weather outbreak. If tornadoes or severe weather is knocking on your door. If the warning is issued and you see it on the bottom of your screen, take shelter in the lowest level of your home, basement preferable, stay away from windows, stay away from exterior walls, get in between interior walls, like the bathroom for example, that's usually an interior, or the hallway, two interior walls. You want to get away from the damaging effects of wind and falling trees too. That's why we talk about the basement or the lowest level. It was warm and humid south of that front, still is very warm and humid. North of the front, just 43 degrees here in Chicago and near the front. That's where we've got the threat for severe weather tonight and tomorrow as that heads toward Philadelphia and Washington. Sandra. 
Well, I'll tell you, we don't have any severe weather in the west, but the northeast has seen some rain now begin to move into the area. Let's take a look at the northeast. We'll start off there then. Temperatures are mild still. We have 30s, 40s, and 50s ahead of the warm front. Just south of the warm front, temperatures right now are still holding in the 60s tonight. And this area right now that's fairly cool will be warming up as we go in through the day tomorrow as that warm front lifts. But right now you can see some of that rain is beginning to move towards the east. Not in the form of strong, severe weather for you in Pennsylvania. In fact, Williams ports down towards Harrisburg along Highway 76. You've seen some moderate pockets of rain. Overall, most of the rain will be at about half an inch or less of accumulation between now and mid-morning. The heavier accumulation, though, will be concentrated mainly across the Ohio Valley. In New York, you're going to need the umbrella tomorrow, but you'll also be needing to look at the weather as the day wears on because it looks like your conditions will be deteriorating with some breezy, breezy south winds and the chance for some thunderstorms late in the afternoon. In Boston, you'll start out okay for your morning commute, so that's pretty good. That's a good start, but your commute inbound will be a bit on the slippery side with a chance for some showers. It will be chilly all day with temperatures in the 50s. The forecast then highlights a red area right in this area from maybe say Philadelphia down towards Washington DC still some areas around uh, West Virginia that may see the possibility of some strong thunderstorms that may become severe now we've been tracking severe weather due to this low pressure system now for the last two going on three days now so we're not gonna relax as this system continues to head off to the east. Once again, we'll introduce some of that severe weather further eastward. The rest of you though, look out for some showers and maybe some isolated thunderstorms. As I started off saying though, the west has been very quiet. It's been very calm in this area. High pressure has been ruling the roost and what we have, fi have found is in the last three hours, well, we are looking at a little slither of some light snow, maybe some precipitation changing over into rain. No major problems out of this little system, though. We are going to continue to stay pretty uneventful throughout most of the West. The winds have relaxed now since we are heading into the evening hours. Still in the central plains, though, we are finding winds gusting into the mid-30s. As Dave showed you, though, we do have this front sitting right on this area, and behind it, those cooler temperatures are really making an impact on you this evening where temperatures are in the 30s for Rapid City down towards Denver. And then just south of that, look here, El Paso, you're sitting in the 70s, Albuquerque, 63, 58 in San Diego. Look out in the West Coast. It will remain fairly mild even through the overnight hours. Tomorrow, though, look for more sunshine to return. In fact, Seattle, You'll see a little more sunshine tomorrow than you did today, but it will still remain in the 50s for you. Portland down towards Los Angeles, look for 60s, and it will be in the 60s for you in Denver tomorrow. And it sounds like it's all nice, but if you remember over the last several days, I'm sure you felt it, it's been in the 70s. So a little cooler for you as far as tomorrow. Stay with us. Currently, the temperature is 65 degrees under cloudy skies. Your extended forecast.
we start off by taking a look at the forecast tomorrow, we are going to find that this cold front will play a role in some thunderstorm activity for you, along with the warm front that's going to continue to track off towards the northeast. Now, as I put all of this into motion, you'll see the rain will spread into the northeast, and we'll start to see conditions improve as high pressure helps to push this area of cold air further towards the east. But we won't let our guard down because along this frontal system, we may still see the possibility of some strong thunderstorms. As you can see, looking at the big picture, once again, it's just the Ohio Valley area that it continues to see most of the activity this evening into tomorrow morning. The rest of you will be mainly quiet as we go into the following day. Now, Thursday's lows will be chilly across portions of Colorado. We'll be looking at teens. 20s through a good chunk of the northern tier and 30s and 40s. There's the front right in this area south of it. Look for those mild temperatures and then by the afternoon hours you'll warm back into the 60s and 70s through the plain states and out towards the west. You'll stay chilly though. In the areas that you start off in the teens, you're only going to be warming to the 40s along the Rockies, so across Colorado. In the southeast, look out for possible record-breaking temperatures in the 90s and again some triple digits across the southern parts of Texas. Tomorrow's forecast out west, very nice, 60s, 70s, even a few 80s, still a little cooler than where you've been in the last several days across Colorado into Wyoming. In the Midwest, well, you'll see some areas finally clearing up from the severe weather, but that severe weather will continue as it tracks further towards the east. In the northeast, you may be introduced to some rain with some of those strong thunderstorms across the mid-Atlantic areas. In the southeast, though, we'll continue to see a chance for rain across the Carolinas and some of that severe weather may be moving in through portions of the south, say the northern parts of Mississippi, Alabama, into Tennessee again. Stay with us. Tough heartburn? <sighs> Try Extra Strength Mylanta, the liquidator. of movies, millions of emotions. Star Super Pack. Up to 12 movie channels for about $12 per month. Call 1-800-SUPER-PACK. Star Super Pack. Hundreds of movies, millions of emotions. People come to our bed and breakfast for the gardens. Frank and I both have just a, a love of people and a passion for gardening. We want to really create a special environment. We literally have thousands and thousands of flowers. Of course, they always ask where we get them from. Most of our bulbs, we have like 15,000, came from Walmart. Oh, yeah. It's a one-stop shopping exactly. for us. Anything you need to maintain a garden or create a garden. Every bit of that is, is high quality at a very, very good price. So you can keep blooming all year long with Walmart. This is okay. What if someone calls? What if someone calls? <laughs> Sometimes you feel like being dependable. Sometimes you just want to go for a drive. Chevy Impala. Tulips, calla lilies, daffodils. $78. Remembering it's the thought that counts. Priceless. There are some things money can't buy. Mommy, look. For Mother's Day, there's MasterCard. Severe weather highlighting the forecast for the rest of tonight and tomorrow here in the Ohio Valley, actually back to the southern suburbs of Tulsa tonight, a severe thunderstorm through northern Arkansas. Now just North of Indianapolis, we've got a severe weather, reports of severe weather east of Columbus, Ohio, and near Beckley, West Virginia. Severe thunderstorm watches are in effect until 6 o'clock, 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock, 2 o'clock. So this is going to be an all-night affair. 
in association with a warm front heading northward into Ohio and a cold front sliding southward through St. Louis headed toward Memphis and Little Rock. So if you plan on traveling here in the middle of the country tonight or on the east coast tomorrow, don't be surprised if you run into fog due to hail on the ground cooling off the lower levels of the atmosphere. Trees and power lines, be very careful. I-95, I-76, I-40, all under the gun. And travel by air is also going to be impacted by turbulent weather here at all the New York airports, Philadelphia, Washington, Boston, and every other airport in between. Meanwhile, here in the west, it's all quiet, except for a little rain-snow mix out at Denver International Airport right now. But with the temperature above the freezing mark, we don't have to worry about any icing on the roadways. It's going to be a beautiful day all across the west tomorrow, from Interstate 5 to I-25 along the Front Range. Meanwhile, as we check on the radar, we see that, well, 99% of the activity now is east of the Mississippi River. It's raining in Milwaukee and Green Bay, all over lower Michigan. It's raining in Cleveland, now raining in Pittsburgh. And that whole shield of rain heads into New England and the mid-Atlantic coast in the morning. It'll be rain in New York City and Philadelphia to start off the day. But then if the sun comes out and the winds turn southerly, we could have some thunderstorms. We've got the severe weather here tonight. Could very well be here tomorrow. Plus, there's a double threat, flooding. Flood warnings are in effect for several counties in Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, Illinois. Flood watches are in effect all along, well, Interstate 76, parts of uh, just north, I guess, of Interstate 64, but it's the secondary roads that really can be submerged. So if you're out there during a flood, go to directly to high ground, and if you encounter roadways that are covered with water, consider another option. Turn around, go back, check another way to go. Now this. Your lawn is being taken over by two kinds of weeds. With Weed Be Gone, one product gets rid of the lawn weeds. But not the crabgrass. The other one kills the crabgrass. But not the lawn weeds. There's got to be a better way. They are advanced all-in-one weed killer for lawns. It kills lawn weeds plus crabgrass in just one easy step. And it won't harm your lawn. Two kinds of weeds, one simple solution. From Bear Advanced, where better thinking always gives you better results. Unsociable host or unbearable allergies? When seasonal allergies keep you from enjoying the things you do, Allegra can help. Only Allegra has fexofenadine, so unlike many other antihistamines, it won't make you drowsy. And Allegra gives you 24-hour relief. For people 12 and older, side effects are low and may include headache, cold, or back pain. Talk to your doctor today about Allegra and get back to your party. Non-drowsy Allegra. Real relief for real living. Little hand on a long stick. Simple. But once you get this fella going, it's oh mama. And the best part, this hand stays free to pick up another simple pleasure. Milky Way. Caramel, chocolate, nougat, you've heard it before. But for some reason, once this combination starts to melt in your mouth, whoa, where did you come from? Milky Way. Pleasure you can't measure. Now, here's your local forecast from the Weather Channel. Currently, the temperature is 66 degrees with a thunderstorm. for your area.
expect fair skies Friday through Sunday with temperatures in the 60s on Friday. Hey, listen, this is all Willard Scott. Sometimes weatherman mostly introducing people who are 100 years old, but you're not 100, you're 20. Happy birthday, Weather Channel. You're beautiful. Join us for a 20th anniversary special from the Weather Channel, Sunday, May 12th at 8. What's up, Mr. Foster? I go in for a PC. I come out with a migraine. You ask for this, all they have is that. Makes your head spin. Well, your computer quandary is easily solved by the folks at Dell. Just call or go online. They'll help you figure it out. So you know what you're getting and what you're getting it for. So none of this? Nope. Just the perfect PC for you at the right price for you. Oh, I'm feeling better already. Good. Steven, isn't this your father's car? Um... No. Right now, a complete dimension desktop with an Intel Pentium 4 processor delivering performance where you need it most is just $6.99. And why wait? Because for a limited time, you can get free shipping. There's great deals on notebooks, too. You're going to say it, aren't you? Oh, he knows. Easy to buy, easy to own, easy as Dell. Dell PCs use Intel Pentium 4 processors. Smog season started on Wednesday and keeping our air clean in our growing world is becoming increasingly difficult. Meteorologist Nick Walker takes a look at some studies aimed at learning more about combating poor air quality. Crowded morning and evening commutes. Scenes like these play out every day across the country. In Atlanta, it's one of the top contributors to the ozone problem. Researchers at Georgia Tech University study air quality to determine how Atlanta and the state of Georgia can improve the air we breathe. Ozone, pollutants, and the weather all contribute to bad smog days. Smog does depend on the weather. The hotter it is, the drier it is, the more likely we are to have the higher pollutant concentration. Ozone is really a summertime phenomenon. It really depends on the intense summer sunlight and intense summer heat. Dr. Chang has been conducting studies for seven years. Air quality monitoring stations across the state measure air samples. The studies determine what's causing bad smog days and how we can maintain good air quality. Cars are getting cleaner, but we're driving them more miles. We're driving them farther. Power plants are getting cleaner, but we're asking them to produce more power. How do we balance that? How do we filter it out and try to find this very small signal? Is air quality improving? Is it, is it not improving? We don't really know that yet. It's tough to determine long-term trends in the study of air quality. Researchers will continue to monitor the air we breathe. An inevitable truth may be that we will have to adjust our lifestyles to live with more smog. But for now, there are things we can do to help improve our air quality. For the Weather Channel, I'm Nick Walker. On Smog Alert Days, you can reduce air pollution by carpooling or taking public transportation. Also, gas up your car after 6 p.m. and don't top off your gas tank. It releases more gases into the already bad air. Now here's Dave with your Weekly Planner. Hey, thanks for those tips, Sandra. Here is the Weekly Planner, my friend, and I'll tell you, it starts off with severe weather again. Now moving to the East Coast, we've got a tornado right now being reported hounded into southern Summers County, West Virginia, so take cover there. More rough weather in Ohio and Indiana tonight, southern Illinois, Missouri, Arkansas, and Oklahoma. Let's turn off that other microphone. That'll be a good idea. Meanwhile, we've got dry weather here in the southwest, but that's typical for this time of year until the monsoon begins. That's in late June. The west to east stream of the jet stream is going to change just a little bit. We will have a ridge of high pressure begin to build in the west. That means drier weather there, and it also means less in the way of severe weather across Missouri and Indiana. But by midweek, as the jet stream heads southward, that could return. Here's what we got going right now. We've got high pressure moving into Des Moines and the Twin Cities, a beautiful night. Chicago, the rain will end here shortly, and then you will see sunshine on Thursday as the cold front heads toward the east coast with the threat for severe weather in Burlington County, New Jersey and Westchester, Pennsylvania, down toward Baltimore and Dover, Washington, D.C., all of Virginia, including Norfolk and Richmond and Danville. Then another area of low pressure along the front, 
create some active weather after daytime highs hit 85 to 95 in this region. High pressure, however, will move in just in time.